Yeah, you have to often ask yourself maybe what I often ask myself, and that is, is a pancake actually a cake? You know, like you think about that for a second. You're like, all right, I'm kind of using the same ingredients that you would if you put it into a cake pan and put it in the oven, except you're putting it on a frying pan and you're making them thinner. So by definition, if you, if you go over those points, yes, pancakes are cakes, but is there a way to take it up a notch? You know what I'm saying? Is there a way to make it more cake-like? I personally believe there is. And that's what brings us to today. Carrot cake. One of, if not my favorite cake. And what's better than carrot cake in pancake form? Carrot cake in pancake form using carrot cake mix. Yeah, let's get on with that recipe. So let's just, let's just pull out all of our ingredients here. So I found this in the, uh, in the grocery store. Anytime something like cake has super moist on it, I'm 100% buying it because moist cake is the best cake. And uh, this is gonna serve as the base for the carrot cake pancakes. But I'm not gonna stop there. One of my uh, favorite creations that I made, one of the most popular creations I made was a spiralized pancake. The inside of it had a cinnamon roll, but I think the reason why it was so popular was because it looked cool, it had like a spiral. So I'm gonna try and chase that, right? I'm gonna make candy carrot ribbons and spiralize them inside of each pancake. Furthermore, a cream cheese syrup or a cream cheese glaze to go on top the entire thing. Now we can go on with the recipe. So following this right here, it says I need a cup of cold water, two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil and three eggs. I'm gonna use none of those instructions and instead kind of use my knowledge on how to make regular pancakes with the carrot cake mix. But I'm not doing that first. First, we're gonna make the carrot ribbon. So to do that, a simple syrup, which is equal parts water and equal parts sugar. And then I'm gonna boil the carrots before putting them in the oven. I can pin other people's comments. Now, here's where I'm gonna add a little bit of flair, cinnamon to the mix. And this is where the carrot cake flavor starts. The candy carrots or the ribbons rather, pretty much good to take out of the simple syrup mixture. And I'm just going to lay them out like you see on a parchment paper lined baking tray making sure they don't stick. So we did it. We did it, Joe. Let's taste one of these without cooking it. Tastes like candy ends, honestly. These go off to a 250 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. Now we can start making cakes for pans. It's a bad joke, I'm sorry. Now let's try our hand at using this super moist carrot cake mix to make pancakes. I didn't have to say super moist, but I like saying moist. Not sure why everyone has such a feeling about it. Things that are moist are good. Moist is not a bad thing. There's no negative connotation associated with moist. Oh man, that smells good. I can see little bits of carrot. There's freeze dried carrots. Okay, a cup of flour, uh, two eggs. All right, two and a half cups of milk. We have some dry action. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to this too. Quarter cup of oil. I'm gonna put that directly into the egg bowl. I'm gonna add it into the milk. Mix up the dry ingredients before adding the wet. You see what's happening here, right? If I added all of it to one bowl at the exact same time, not only would it take a lot longer to mix it all together, but it has it risks the potential of just not mixing well. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. Story of my life. And here we go. Okay, here is the deal. Sure, I could take these, pan fry them, make pancakes, but I wanna make them fluffy. I like fluffy pancakes. I like pancakes that aren't dense. They need to have air in them. And how am I gonna inject air into these pancakes? By folding in some egg whites. And then just add 
the whites to the bowl. Now all I gotta do is beat these whites until we get stiff peaks. I'll show you what that is in a second. Okay, stiff peaks. It really, it, it lies in the name. That's a peak of egg white and it's stiff. Just introduce the whites to the batter by folding it. This is gonna make sure that the egg whites stabilize and don't uh, lose all the air because that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm just adding air to the batter so that the pancakes are fluffier. Science, Jeff, science. All right, super fluffy cake batter pancake mix is good to go. This is super fluffy. Do you hear that bass? Gotta act fast because these are hardening by the second, but everything is working out according to plan. And if something breaks off, that's okay. It's a snack. Wrap it around. Try not break it, but if it does, The only thing left really is to make the cream cheese glaze. Originally, I had plans for this recipe. Was throwing a couple curveballs and had to adjust on the fly and this is where we ended up. Instead of just mixing milk with powdered sugar and cream cheese, I'm gonna incorporate, you guessed it, carrot cake Oreos into the mix. Now to help soften it up and move it along, a little bit of milk. Because I have so much sugar via the Oreos, I am not gonna add any powdered sugar until tasting it later on. But into this goes the cream cheese. thing looks pretty good smells incredible everything that I have going on this plate has everything to do with carrot cake this is really really cool to look at but does it taste cool let's find out Ooh, fluffy stacked pancakes now obviously like to the general public stacking five high is not necessarily the move but for the video it's always the move. Light, fluffy, seriously carrot cake delicious. Plus mixed with the Oreo infused cream cheese glaze. This is incredible. And all I really did was use boxed carrot cake. Seriously, who would have thought? Added a little bit of egg whites, made a little bit fluffy. And boom, an incredible stack of incredible flavors. Hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment down below, letting me know what other pancake stacks you wanna see me make. Turn on that sub button, or if you're not already sub, hit the sub button and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'll see all you guys on the next one. Bye.